Welcome to today's two o'clock league game. It is Leeds against Brentford. It's at Ellen Road and I've been really looking forward to this one. It's a great ground. I've seen the documentary on, on Amazon about Leeds and the fans are meant to be good and it's a lovely ground. So you can see there's a lot of history to it and I'm really looking forward to it. One, because of the ground, because of the atmosphere, but, but mainly because I think Brentford can get something today. Leeds are only one point behind us, so yeah, it should be a tight game. Right, we're inside the ground, but the team news is in and we're without Tony today, which is a big blow. I'm going to go for a score draw, two all maybe, come on. Oh no, no, I scored that. 
that goal. To Brentford, I've just drawn two all with Leeds at Ellen Road, and you know before the game I said two all, and the draw would have been a good result to be fair. Like it means we stay above Leeds, but you know when you concede with about 60 seconds left, it always hurts. You know what could have been? We were really close to a crucial win, uh, but Patrick Pantford popped up with a late equaliser, and to be fair. It was probably deserved, you know, their keeper didn't have to make many saves. Alvaro in our goal did, he made a couple decent saves, a worldy one as well. They scored a goal in the first half, we probably should have defended better. Um, we needed a Baptiste worldy to get us back into it and then Sergi Canos scored a nice goal, um, which is good to see. And I thought Christian Norgard was really good for us as well, ever consistent he is. And I must also say, the Leeds atmosphere was brilliant. It definitely lived up to expectation. It's definitely one of the best atmospheres in the Premier League. You know, without Ivan Tony, it's really not a bad point away from home, but it could have been more.